Now, time for a uh, team battle you probably didn't think I'd do anytime soon or ever. In fact, this is actually my first time playing Yorick. Ever. And I'm going to play him as a jungler. I mean, I have tested him out in certain other things. But he's never really stuck me as impressive in there. He's a hit or miss champion in the jungle. Either it goes well and... You know, it it feels awesome, you snowball, destroy camps and whatnot, or it goes terribly and you become utterly useless. Now if you saw the team compositions, my team is better formed. We have a better all around team. And this was draft mode, so the enemy team has Master G in the jungle with exhaust. That means if I were to fight him, there's a chance that he could beat me on a one on one fight. However though, if I were to catch him off guard, it'd be a high chance that he wouldn't escape me. Anyways, I am using attack damage reds, quints, armor yellows, and uh, magic resistance blues. I started off with a long sword and I asked for a significant leash at my blue so I could easily take it out. Now, with all this AD, my spells and auto attacks deal a lot of damage to the camps so I can clear them rather quickly and I can take a significantly uh, strong start and I don't waste a lot of gold on potions. Now I'm going to clear all the way down to my small golems and I am going to go home and buy boots but watch how my low my health gets. I know just I know how to manage it so I don't you know die. If Master G caught me I'd probably be dead but especially at the last part I mean at the small golems I use my smite just to quickly burst one down and kite a little so I can regain some of my health thanks to the little life steal uh, ghoul thing, whatever it is. And I just hit it with my shovel till it dies. I'm gonna go home, buy boots and a couple potions because you know sustainability is important if I don't have any armor or anything. And once this blue runs out, my jungle is gonna be noticeably worse. I'm going to attempt a gank on Singe. I doubt it will get a kill, but I'm going to do a lot of damage. And I spot Master Yi in my jungle. So I know he's around there. Anyways, I go up to Singe, throw some ghouls, and then I hit him on my shovel. Now, he could have almost died, and I was surprised by that, but Master Yi showed up, and we can't really dive him. So instead, Master Yi underestimates how much damage we can do, and. Uh, the second he gets in my face, I hit him with my shovel. Master G's hanging around, he probably wants to get Aurelius, so I stick around too. He has no escapes, so the second he gets stunned or too close, he's easily to uh, finish off. Now, Aurelius is going to go down by Singe's Ignite, but, you know, my shovel hit to the face takes him down. Okay. Now I have two kills and a good amount of gold, and I'm going to be able to push this tower for whatever experience set and go like and leech off of it. And I do some good damage on it and it's pretty pushed. And I am level five. I wanna get level six soon. Doesn't really increase my ganking powers any more more than you know I already have. But I buy a Tears of the Goddess. Because I figure you know what I wanna skip Riggle's Lantern on this guy because it's not too good on him given his crappy attack speed. And I want you know to maximize the mana since I won't I won't at this point think I have blue all the time. However, my Annie's been failing her lane. So, with that given, I'll probably not even give her blue. Like, this is what I usually do in draft mode situations. If my caster isn't that great, I usually won't hand them the blue. Because it's not going to save them or do anything different. Like, it isn't that they're getting beat by the matchup, it's that they're doing stupid things. So, why give them blue when they might just end up giving the blue to the better caster? So, once more I go off to gank Singed because he has a ward and doesn't realize that I can still catch him. I hit him with my shovel a couple times and almost kiss and do some significant damage to him. Regardless of the point is, now he has to play a little bit more defensively. And with that I go back into my jungle, I make sure to spam all my abilities to get the little Tears of the Goddess. I do know it has an internal cooldown, but don't really care. Blue is going to be up, so I'm going to head straight out to it, so I'm going to get my uh, smite back up in a sec. Also, I forgot to mention my masteries. Uh, they're 11, 9, uh, 11, 9, and 10, like I've said in other videos. You know, up to the armor pen, and then the ma uh, health regen, since I'm going to have a lot of mana, 
and the buff duration. Anyways, I don't know what the hell I was doing here. I wasted my ult for some reason. And <laughs> obviously gaining absolutely nothing from it. So I, I that's one wasted ult and wasted abilities and wasted time. Anyways, I go to the enemy jungle, steal blue, but as soon as I get clairvoyance, I know they're gonna come at me. So I just steal the blue wraith, gives the most experience. Now I'm gonna go bottom and since they don't have clairvoyance, this should be a little bit easier. I tell my teammates or Oh, actually no. Soraka face checks and I hit her with my shovel. Now we're just gonna circle in here and finish him off like a tower dive. The great thing about the ghouls is they end up tanking towers too. However though Garen spins and kills them really easily. And you know Battle Sona picks up the the last kill. Master Yi comes at us, my Tristan is awesome and I start hitting him with my shovel. But Brand is gonna show up and we decide, hell no, Brand is gonna kill us. Brand shows up and I'm like, eh, I'm not even gonna bother finishing off this Master Yi, I'd rather survive. And I probably much can't chase him. I don't know what happens here, but he uses his ultimate and my little uh, pink thing, Revenant, whatever, absorbs the entire ultimate. And I don't know if it, I was too far away from him for it to bounce or it's bugged out. Because he says it happened before. Anyways, I go off clearing the jungles once more and they push my mid. Master Yi once more without an escape gets himself killed. Now, this is a, you know, a good time, a better time than ever. A lot of people have been saying, what about using exhaust in the jungle? Well, if you're using a, a character while to escape, you can already see the problem with that. Exhaust is a pseudo escape. Sure, it can save your life in some situations, but when you're ganked by more than one person, or you have to get over a wall because you're cornered, it's not going to save you there, so you're doomed. It's a combat skill. A summoner spell. If you're fighting someone and exhaust them, you gain the advantage quite readily. Uh, especially against melee types. Uh, I mean, sure, it works against casters, but melee are the one guys most screwed by it. So, if it comes to be t deciding between exhaust and flash, this is where some people deviate. I know some players like Dan Din like exhaust, but then there's other players like the odd one who don't. I mean, it, it's usually just preference, of course. But just because you have exhaust doesn't mean you can be a good invader. Because sure you can catch me, but I can flash away and kite your ass. So don't you know? Don't think yourself stronger because of the exhaust. At least with my flash, I have more versatility and more escape options. Fla exhaust on a jungler is purely for ganking, not for invading. Ghost and flash are the superior invasion skills. Anyways, once more. I decide to go up there and hit somebody with my shovel, and this time it's Master Yi. He ma he dodges my initial shovel smacking, but c decides to come back and will obviously get himself killed. Now Brand is gonna show up, and once more we're like, you know what, screw this. But summoning my you know ghost thing, whatever, somehow makes him you know you know flee in terror. And because he decided to run away, my teammates catch him, and I catch Singed, too, as well. So they're dead. I don't know why Brand decided to give up the chase. He could have done a lot of damage or possibly killed me. I guess Phantom Shovel Strikes really, really hurt. Anyways, this tower is ours as well. Shovel Man, too strong. Yeah, I built a Sheen by this time. I forgot to talk about that. You know, more mana for the mana moon I'm going to build eventually. I like have a lot of spammable abilities. Trinity Force is good on them. But I'm not going to build a Trinity Force yet. I think a Sheen will hold me over for a while. I'm going to buy Merc Threads and mana moon and Spirit Visage. Well, eventually. I get Spirit Visage first. The E ability is a pretty strong thing. Anyways, I'll fight at bottom happens. My really gets chased and I would have helped, but then I decide she's gonna die. But she ends up killing the Master Yi, then dying again. It's like if I had shown up, would she have you know survived? I doubt it. Not like I care. I'm York. I feed off the dead. So I hop around. 
does anything though. Yorick's walk is plus pro perhaps one of the most amusing walks in the game. Makes you run those little, you know, four second hot thing. So adorable. We catch Master Yi, or you know, rarely catch Master Yi. Fight breaks up, but nothing is gonna happen. We wanna uh, take a fight to them, but we're too separated. And a double buff Garen is pretty scary, especially since you know some of us require all our abilities to do something. Anyways, we sent Annie and Tasha to farm since she got destroyed at mid versus the brand. Kind of should have expected a, an unranked player to lose to a 1800 player. Anyways, Master Yi decides to go for me and Tristana and obviously explodes. Of course, I'll have to burn my flash to finish him off, but, you know, that's still silly. I have my ghost Tristana with me, and she and real Tristana start shooting the singed. Now, though, Annie managed to arrive to finish off the Soraka and uh, the singed. And so I start to tower dive in Garen, but my teammate Tristana is getting destroyed by Brand. So I go up to him and hit him with my shovel to save my teammate. This tower is easily ours, which is one a decisive victory, a very good one. But Garen decides to you know get up all in my face, and I'm like, okay, I'm Yorick. You just took a lot of damage, and I didn't really do it. Nothing really happened to me. I have self healing, I have spirit visage, and I have a pocket uh, sauna. I'm nowhere near gonna die. Anyways, with that said, we back off. I go back into my jungle and get more stuff, and I'll finally build my mana mute. And, you know, boots too. I also get elixir of fortitude. I love getting those things, it's like incredible. Anyways. Uh, we catch Master Yi at his at Dragon. He got it low, so that just means we're gonna steal it for almost no effort. Thanks, Master Yi. You're the best member of our team. Anyways, nothing happens. I farm minions with my shovel. Red is up, so like my my Tristan is taking my red, but you know the second I see their red is up, I'm like, ah, oh, this is totally mine. As you can see, the Mana Moon and the Sheen give me so much mana I could just spam my abilities. I probably don't need blue anymore, except if I wanted to use uh, the cooldown reduction. However, if I do get blue, then my mana is just infinite. The more mana you have, the more it restores. Since I have a lot of mana, that's just insane. Like, Yorick is an interesting character in the fact that he needs a lot of stats. So. A lot, of, a lot of variety of stats. So tier two items such as Spirit Visage and Mana Mune, uh, like stuff like that, really help them out. I like those kinds of characters. Just Yorick sort of got outdated by those nerfs or something. I don't know what happened to him. I, f I figure, you know, why why aren't people using Yorick? He just get nerfed slightly, and people go, you know what? Screw this guy. I mean, as a jungle, he's just you know too binary for me to want to use. He's just he can go bad and can go good, so if I want to use him in a serious gameplay, uh, I'm a little bit worried. Anyways, they pick a fight and I make a Ghost Tristana. And just start blasting away at Singe because he's the one tower diving us. I mean, not tower diving us, diving the team. We easily pick off Garen. And the fight goes in our favor. I'm confused as to what's happening now because Singe is like diving at us for some reason. Our Sona almost got herself killed and died due to poison, I guess. I wasn't paying much attention to when it actually happened. And then Master Yi decides to face check my shovel and gets easily killed and with Bran following them up because they're thinking, you know, they were in the clear, he gets picked off too. And then Singe walks right into my shovel and gets butchered. Like, we want to tower dive the Soraka, but, but, you know, my shovel skills aren't that strong yet. But either way, this is another easy tower for us. <laughs> oh, yeah. I laughed my ass off when that happened, too. I mean, Garen is chasing my Annie. She managed to escape, but I'm slowing him down to, a, like, a halt while still hitting him with my shovel. Like, the second he gets too far and my Annie charges up a stun, I'm praying, please return, because this is an easy kill. She comes back, Garen turns around, and my me, my ghost self, along with the stun, get uh, destroy him. Now this is another free blue for me, and Soraka decides to flash away, scared of my shovel. 
So right, I am pretty much fed up my ass right now. I didn't even think this would happen as Yorick, but I don't know. I, now I'm Yorick Mori. They shall remember that name. We. Man, I love that little hopping crap. And we, we scour the land for everybody. We're gonna catch uh, the enemy team <laughs> just because they face check the shovel. And they open up on us, however, though, we catch the vital characters, such as the brand. Master Yi once more just dives at us, but you know, he manages to escape because we'd rather pick on Garen. We, cr uh, we catched everybody else, but only managed to kill one person. I have a phantom I realize you, know, you should be making ghosts uh, of your carries, not of yourself. We have a massive tower fight, and we pick every single one of them off. I, it seems Yorick is very good at taking the towers, so especially since you know you get damage reduction thanks to having all the ghouls. I push top after that, we get mid, I take their blue, but my teammates at uh, mid overstay their welcome and get butchered. So of course. I finish building Trinity Force, and I'm building Chain Vest and the no uh, whatever that magic resistance crap is. Anyways, I start chasing Sinch because I am Yorick and I don't care, and force him to use his ultimate, and he still takes a significant amount of damage. And uh, like I'm basically at full health, I'm like I can't be hurt. I'm so beefy and fed, of course. He does say time to feed. Anyways, this little, you know, Mexican standoff that's happening here, I'm not sure, really sure what you're thinking, because, you know, the enemy turret is down, we could have just gone the other way and taken out the inhibitor first, but I think we were master strategists here and had something planned. Lie. I decide, you know, we're, we're being stupid, so I just leave the place and something's happening. I'll easily pick up Dragon and a, a more farm for myself. And my blue as well. And back to mid once more, it seems. Pushing everything. We catch Garen, obviously, but don't really do much about it. And here I decide to tower dive and initiate a fight. Because I am Yorick, and you cannot kill Yorick when he's this fed. And now uh, Garen is probably surprised how the hell did they do so much damage. And then I make a Phantom Tristana once more, and get her just to focus on the inhibitor like we can win without another Tristana and I'm like eh I want this inhibitor down because I'm, it's obvious my teammates weren't gonna focus it unless the enemy team left their presence I think that sounded like they left those presence okay this game is pretty much over they're gonna try one last ditch effort to fight us they're gonna end up seeing how that goes Walk right into Sona Old, pick up Singed, pick up Garen, pick up uh, Brand. I think Brand's dead, I don't know where he is. Regardless of the point, this was kind of an easy victory. I mean, sure, my mid fed a little, but I'm York, and I fed off the enemy team quite well. Master Yi really didn't put up much of a fight. Yay.